Oh, they're decimating us. Oh, this is no good. Oh, God. What happened? Did they call down artillery strikes? Oh, no. My base. No, not my base. <laughs>
Okay. So those uh, engineers are off doing their thing. Let's go ahead and build some riflemen. So the, so the troops in this game have really neat abilities. Um, the riflemen can be upgraded to have grenades that you can manually throw at uh, other opponents. Uh, they can be upgraded to have sticky bombs to take on tanks and vehicles. You can give them an automatic rifle so they can become basically machine gunners. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can actually do in this game. Notice, too, that uh, I've captured some territory, and so my borders are expanding. Here's a fun fact. I captured this munitions depot, but it's actually not technically connected to my home base. And it's actually doing okay right now, but if you capture territories that don't have any connection to your home base, sometimes they aren't supplied. And what will happen is they uh, will not actually generate resources. So you need to have a continuous territory. So like, oh, and there's the enemy border. So we now know where the enemy is. Um, in fact, I wonder if my guys are going to start encountering them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build an observation. Oh, I don't have enough resources. You can build observation posts on top of your resource centers, and that actually makes them harder to capture and also makes them generate more resources. I think I will just send my troops up here. Um, this game is a cover-based game, if you can believe that too. So not only are you... Uh, maybe let's build, no, let's build more, more soldiers. We want a whole bunch of troops here. Um, so this is a, this is like a cover based game. So notice when I click here, see those little dots, yellow indicates some cover, green indicates good cover. There's also red that indicates like poor cover and stuff. So, oh, we got some enemies down here capturing my territory, eh? Well, we're going to send some, uh, troops in to attack them. Hey, wait, you guys. I'm down here. Stop these guys. So see, they're trying to cut me off from my other resources over here. The joke's on them. Oh, what is that? Oh, they build a machine gun encampment, aim that way, and I'm over here. I'm sneaking in from behind. That's actually really funny. So I'm stealing their resources from behind. Okay, but yeah, so it's all about cover. Uh, as your guys get into combat, you need to sort of get them into cover so that... Uh, they don't get just killed. They die out in the open much more easily. Let's see. I'm going to build like a little observation post here, which will lock these resources down, make them harder to recapture and give me a little bit of protection here. You can also do things like, uh, so these are the engineers actually. You can do things like you can build like barbed wire and stuff like that. So actually maybe that might be a good idea to prevent uh, vehicles and stuff from coming in. Uh, what else can I build? Oops. The build. Uh, you can build like tank traps and stuff to like stop tanks. It's a little early for that, so we're not going to do that just yet. But look, I've gone ahead and captured that. Uh... Oh man, I could probably capture this too, and they couldn't stop me because their machine gun embankment is at like the wrong point. You can go ahead and just start shooting the bunker. See, we do like virtually no damage though. So maybe I will just accept the fact that we own those victory points and leave it at that. All right, I am probably floating a bunch of money. Oh, see, so these guys are coming to attack me. I can get my guys into cover, though. I don't want to get too close because I feel like that machine gun will actually rip me apart. Okay, let's actually start uh, building up our dudes here. Um, so where are our engineers? So the one thing I'm going to have difficulty with in this game here is keeping track of all my units. Here's some engineers. You guys go back home. Um, one other cool thing is you can actually take over any building you want and turn it into a forward barracks, and then you can start spawning soldiers there. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, you know what? These guys... I'm going to build some sandbags here. So that will give my riflemen some cover. But we are losing a sector, and that's no good. So you guys... Come and defend the sector. Oh no, they took my fuel! You jerks. I'm getting so frazzled already. All right, the engineers are back. Let's start building up. We need to get to tanks. So we need a supply yard, uh, which is this. So we'll build a supply yard over there. I don't actually know how much anything costs. I find this gameplay goes so fast. I don't have a ton of time to pay attention to, uh, to pay attention to money. But, oh, that, what happened there? That right, sort of got given up on. Did my dudes die? 
wonder. Oh, there's an enemy dude just hanging out there, a medic. Okay, you guys capture that. When you are capturing stuff, you are more vulnerable to being attacked, so not just capturing things all the time is sometimes useful. Uh, but in order to get a tank depot, we need a lot more fuel. So here's my thinking. All right, we have that. Decrease the upkeep cost of your troops. Okay, let's just start building. Uh, let's build a jeep or two. And these guys. Okay, we need fuel, so I'm going to start upgrading and defending my uh, fuel depots and stuff here. Uh, build my observation. You guys are doing good over here. Let's build... Ooh, that's actually a good fuel depot. Plus 16. But yeah, some territories are worth more than others. Uh, Alright. The things are going out. Going pretty good. I see some enemies coming. Oh, it's a border. Okay, we're going to bring our guys over here. I think what I will do... Let's do this. Let's upgrade to grenades. And let's try and take out that bunker of theirs. The, bu the grenades. Hold on. They are good. We're flushing enemies out of cover, attacking garrison buildings. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. We have a jeep now, too, so we can start to scout jeep things. Okay, they're capturing our victory point. That's okay. Um, we need some engineers back near the front line, though, to, to finish, those, uh, finish those sandbags. So, yeah, you can build your own cover. And sandbags actually offer pretty good cover. You can also, like, place barbed wire fence on the opposite side of cover so that enemies can't come and, like, use that as cover. Oh, shoot, there's fuel right there. Go ahead and take that. That'll be really annoying for them. I don't know if a Jeep can actually capture stuff. I don't think it can. But the Jeep will offer support, moral support. All right, we have grenades. Those are being built. I'm gonna, I am going to leave a squad here. Because I don't want losing ground out there. I don't want to basically have this center territory totally undefended. They keep capturing that. That's a little annoying, but that doesn't really matter. Once this is captured, we will build uh not must build within territory. What? I'm gonna build one of these. Oh, okay. I guess that doesn't count as our territory somehow. Not supplied. Go ahead and capture this. And we're going to loop back around with our grenades and try and take out that bunker. Um, one other thing is you gain experience actually as a commander. And you can sort of be an airborne commander, an infantry commander, an armor commander. I only know how to use airborne. Um, but it's pretty cool. You can actually spawn in paratroopers. Oh, look, there's enemies running by us. Um, let's actually spawn some paratroopers here. Um, we will spawn them right here. So we're going to spawn some of the uh, Baker Company from the 101st. Oh, what are you guys doing? Get down here and take these guys out. Gonna take our territory. In fact, let's actually throw a grenade at them. They're busy capturing the territory, so they're going to be easy pickings. Here we go! Kaboom! Now your guys will get down when they're under fire. Um, you can see they're sort of uh, pinned down. Um, there's all sorts of different uh, like mechanics in terms of um, like when you're under fire, like um, how much damage you're going to take and stuff like that. Oh, this is a perfect grenade. Perfect grenade. Yeah, you better run. Boom! All right, we got him. Now right, we're taking this territory back. All right, we got guys over here. Airborne, Airborne, fire up. When fired up, squads are less prone to suppression and move faster. Okay, let's everyone come down here. And we're going to grenade this building here. Okay, so we're getting our territory back. All right, what was I doing over here? Um, I guess we should also research sticky bombs because if tanks show up and we're unprepared, we can be totally screwed. Uh, we need engineers, though. So you guys come over here. We're so close to being able to build a tank depot. Boom! 
Oh god! Oh god! Guys, get into cover! Oh, see, one of the guys died. Oh shoot! Oh god! Okay. Well, we got we got to take out this. All right, we're we're losing. We're gonna lose that center battle because I don't have any troops over there. Um. Oh, but I have airborne troops. Here they come. Here come some airborne troops. We launch some uh, some flares. You can also do all sorts of cool things. Like you can uh, you can have mortar teams, and you can launch like smoke and stuff, like smoke to like cover an approach. Everybody, get in the cover. There we go. Now we can like toss a grenade at them. Okay, that was a crappy grenade, guys. But I think we're gonna win that battle because we're in cover. Damn, they're taking that reason that center back. We need like a tank to really take this down. Oh man, that bunker's gonna take forever. Okay, new plan. When we get a tank, we'll deal with the bunker. Let's go back for this supply territory. So when you have territory that's cut off from supply... Okay, so see, notice how this is flashing. It means it's not going to be generating any resources. We have to fix that ASAP. I guess I need more more troops. Um, although I could just drop airborne troops. Uh, where can I drop them? Drop them. I don't, I don't know where I can drop them. Okay. Um, oh, God, we're, we're taking fire here. Let's uh, lob grenades at these guys. Now, when you are damaged, you can tell guys to retreat, and they will basically run home. And once they get home, you can actually start... Hey, there's, like, medics and stuff. Get filthy medics! Um, once you run home, you can actually reinforce your troops, and it's a lot cheaper to reinforce them than to build all new troops. So it is. it does behoove you to try and keep guys um, alive as best you can. Um, all right. Here we go. Let's build a tank. Oh, we don't have enough fuel and manpower. Damn, it takes a lot of manpower to build a tank. All right, so I guess we're stuck with what we got. Um, and we lost that fuel depot too, but I don't think they own it. So that's something. Capturing this one. We're capturing this one. All right, we're getting our territory back. As long as I can more or less... As long as I can more or less hold them back, should be okay. Ooh, these guys are in a lot of trouble. All right, you guys run back too. Call in some new paratroopers. Uh, deploy paratroop anti-tank crew. That can come in handy. <laughs> that can come in handy. The paratroopers are really good for my style of gameplay because I'm not keeping up on my resources and stuff. Oh, God! Okay, everyone, get into cover. Get into cover. Okay, now that we're in cover, throw a grenade or whatever at them. So this turns out that cent the center point of the map obviously is turning out to be like a hot spot of combat. Let's build our tank. Okay, we don't have enough. So you can click here to reinforce your dudes. And you can basically bring people back up to fighting speed. Um, I'm going to do this, though. Let's get these guys building. There we go. These guys are just taking... Oh, there's like a... Uh, there's an artillery or something over there. Okay, so we're gonna fly back. Oh my god, what's happening over here? Oh, you guys are, are in trouble too. Retreat! Retreat! Oh god! <laughs> okay, so the enemy is pulling, pulling stuff together. I need a tank. Where's my tank? Um, okay. Reinforce, reinforce. Once I get all these these crews to be fully reinforced, we should be okay. Recoilless rifle. Effective counter to vehicles and hardened structures. That would actually be quite handy. Oh, God. Look, we're losing all this territory. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We can we can go up and we can, uh, we can flank these guys. So, yeah, the artillery takes time to set up. So if we can, like, get around them. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
Oh, we're like flanking them. Yeah. They can't do anything. Oh yeah, we're we're in all around them. They're done. Kill them! Kill them! Okay, you can actually now take their artillery, and then you can aim it at them. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. Oh god! Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> Flee! Oh man, this is actually so bad. We're losing so much territory here. How did this happen? Okay. We're gonna fly down some paratroopers. We have a secured sector. Um... Why can't we do it? Not enough manpower. Oh shoot, you have to pay for those guys? I thought they were free. Um, lob a grenade at these guys. See, my guys are just like standing out of cover. My strategy is not very good here. Okay, you know what? Let's, let, we gotta regroup. See, they can't capture that because I reinforced it. One of our forward so they're trying to hit that. Okay, we, we gotta, look at all these guys just standing by the, the, the back here. Okay, you guys go down there. Infantry squad you guys. You're reinforced, so you're okay. You go over here. We gotta, like, slowly start pushing these guys back. You are weak. So you need to get reinforced. You come and capture here. Okay, I think those observation posts were actually the smartest thing that I did. Because it kept them from, uh, just, like, blatantly taking me over. If I, if I surprise them over here, I could actually... Because their machine gun is aimed at my post there. Um, I could, if I get them from the side or something, I could actually, like, do some damage to them. Um, oh, we have enough for tank. Done. Okay, meanwhile, all these guys need reinforcements. So they're just going to hang back. Okay, rather than trying to capture this, see if we can kill these guys. Airborne, ready for action. Come over here. Lob a grenade at these guys. Do it! My guys are just fighting, like, out of cover constantly. Oh, but that worked. <laughs> that worked. They're running. Running for the hills. Okay. Um, oh, we have, a, we have an airborne. Those are medics or something, so we can take those guys out. Okay, did we kill them? No, they're still over there. Or those are medics. Hmm. I keep letting them take their their injured. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, that guy's running home. Okay, let's capture this. Seal up this territory here. They're hitting one of our forward emplacements. Trying to take Where are all my other dudes. What are these guys doing? I told you guys to go over here. Um, you can also throw satchel charges, which will blow up buildings and stuff. Oh, and I have my tank. All right. Oh, they're in a building. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, retreat. Retreat. What you can do when they're in a building is, uh, you can actually throw, like, charges and stuff at them. I'm going to come over here with my tank and get ready for an offensive, though. Reinforcement. Reinforce these guys. Reinforce these guys. Oh, they have a tank! Oh, God! Okay, one thing about tank battles is you want to be shooting them from the rear. Oh, God. They <laughs> this battle is going poorly. Oh, that was a rear shot. So when it comes to tank on tank battles, you want to get behind the enemy tank and make sure you're shooting their rear armor because that is the, the sort of weak point. I come over here and... Boom. Meanwhile, okay. Who has anti-tank stuff? Anyone? <laughs> There's all these troops just hanging around the main base. We need to set up a forward base here. Throw that. Oh, I can drop an anti-tank through. That's something. Oh god. Turn around. Stop revealing your your butt to the enemy. Okay, here we go. The anti-tank crew. Aim it aim that way, you fools. Oh, this tank is done. We got this. Oh no, but my tank is almost done too. Oh god, flee. 
Lee! Man, for, for how beefy tanks seem, the tank got taken down easily. Equip this so it's better at troops. Fab mine flail. Must be better at killing troops. Um, do I have any engineers left? Oh, he just drove right over those sandbags. Um, oh god. See, there's so much happening that it is, like, hard for me to keep up. Oh, all you troops! Reinforce, damn it! Reinforce and get back into combat! Okay, we got to... we got to start capturing stuff. See, so, this is where my multitasking in real-time strategy games comes back to haunt me, because I don't really have any. Um, and especially as I'm trying to describe everything to you guys, you can imagine, like, it's it's taking my attention away. But when I did try a big group battle game, this is basically what happened, where there was so much happening at once that I, like, literally couldn't keep up. Um, okay, where is my tank? You can repair these things. You just need medics. Um, oh, God. Grenade right at him. My guys are on a suicide run. Boom! So your guys do better um, when when they're just stable, so you can tell them to halt and just start shooting. And that is usually better than if they are just running by. Oh, look at all these guys. Kill him, kill him! Don't let him run! Don't let him run! Yes! We kill this guy too. It's a war crime to kill a medic, but screw it, man. All right, so here, look, if we take this base, if, uh, oh, hold on, we don't want those guys in. If we take this building, then what we can do is we can upgrade it to a barracks, and then we could start spawning guys here. So you can kind of make it like a field command post. Let's go. Um, Must be near HQ, all right, we'll go ahead and retreat. You can also start to re resupply guys like out here, which is maybe what I should be doing. You know, let's go ahead and do that. Um, all right. Engineers, repair this tank. We, for the longest time, have wanted to take out this bunker. We just haven't got around to it. We're slowly getting there. Surprisingly, we still have these some of these territories. I'm shocked that the enemy is letting us get away with it. Um, I guess come over here, you guys. And so you can kind of like aim where you want your artillery and stuff. Uh, to shoot, so we're gonna go like that. Oh my god. Oh god. Everyone get in the cover! Get in the cover! And... Weapon crew lost. Drop a... Oh, we don't have enough supplies for this. 350. Oh god. Oh god. Retreat! Full retreat! Oh god, there's a huge push coming from them. Um, where... Do we have anyone who has anti-tank weapons? Oh, they're, oh, they're flamethrowing my buildings! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, these guys have anti-tank. I need you guys on the front line over here. Oh, no. You can... Oh, God. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> 350. I think they killed our anti-tank crew. They're machine gunning us over here. Okay, we might be in a lot of trouble. You know what? I did say we were going to play two skirmishes today. So, it's okay that the first skirmish is going horribly. Uh, because I think what I've decided is we're going to turn the difficulty down a little bit subsequently. I mean, I'm not using cover and stuff. There's all sorts of other, like, units we could be building, too. Like, there's sniper units. There's mortar units. There's all sorts of stuff. I'm going to have these guys just flee. Run! Oh, God! Okay. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, man, they're totally going to get these buildings and stuff. Um, oh, but we have a tank. We have a fully repaired tank. All right. You know what? We can at least try and take out that stupid bunker. You know what I should have done is I should have built machine gun bunkers of my own to slow the enemy down. Like, once I took over most of the map, that's totally what I should have done. I'm also floating, like, a ton of money. So you can build a crocodile Sherman, which is good versus infantry, so you can have ones that have, like, flamethrowers and stuff. All these guys are just hanging back. Everyone back to the front lines, damn it. Everyone can start reinforcing over here. This could be our new forward command post. Boom, yeah, eat that. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Boom, oh, we decimated him. 
Oh, they're firing like mortars or something at us. This is, like, look how chaotic this is. This is this game is crazy. This game is crazy. All right. Oh yeah, they are. They're they're like mortaring us. And those bunkers are freaking tough. All right, everyone, start reinforcing. Infantry reinforce. Reinforcement reinforce. Reinforce, Infantry reinforce. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good, sort of. Surprisingly, we still control much, like a lot of the territory that we need. It's just there's enemy troops everywhere. Oh, we took out the bunker too. That stupid bunker has been in our way since the beginning. All right, let's get down there. Oh God, there's a tank. Okay, I'm gonna back up my tank. And like all these soldiers are like rushing them. Okay, hold on. We do have some soldiers that have the capability of anti-tanking this. These guys, sticky bomb them. Everyone, sticky bomb them. And let's drop anti-tank crew right behind them. I mean, what is the point of having paratroopers if you don't drop? Oh, look, they even dropped the gun. That's hilarious. What's the point of having paratroopers if you don't drop them strategically? Attack, attack, hurry before he runs you over. Oh God, they're gonna get run over. Can he run them over? He might not be able, he might not be allowed to run them over. Kaboom, kaboom. Oh, this is the pincer movement. We got this. This crew, oh, the whole crew died. So the gun is still up for grabs. You can have another crew take the gun if you want. Um, and maybe we should actually, cause that tank trying to escape. All right, we have the gun again. Fire! Turn it around! Turn it around! So see, there's like sort of like time needed to like turn the tank around, the gun around. Boom! We killed the tank! All right, all right. Maybe things are turning around. Maybe there's hope for me after all. Where's my tank? My tank just sat that whole battle out. It was like, I don't want to get involved. This looks pretty dangerous. Okay, this is actually not too bad, I think, maybe? Uh, okay. There, there are random enemies just sort of running into my base. And, ooh, but I have an anti-tank, I have an anti-infantry tank. Oh god, you guys run. Okay, but you come over here. You see, these guys are like pinned down. So if they tried to run away, oh, eat the flames! Eat the flames. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, so maybe we're doing okay. Whoa, these guys are bringing anti-tank weaponry. Get out of here with those shenanigans. Okay, let's see if we can sort of come over here and get it, get these guys. Oh man, they might do so much damage to me though. Oh god, just go, 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 go. Try and get on the other side of them, I think, is the strategy. Outflanking them. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, we got them. Cool. Oh, there's another chain coming. Like these things, these guys just don't learn. Um, where is my anti-tank gun? Oh, it's just, it's just straight up aiming there, but like no one's there. Oh God, guys, you're gonna get run over. Drop another anti-tank crew over here. Um, and let's have these guys run back over here. There's like enemies just like ducking near my base there. Boom, oh yeah, that ta that's another tank that's done for. Oh, but I'm getting gunned up from the back from machine guns. I did not place those guys well. Shoot. Oh, those guys are trying to sneak up on the tank. That isn't smart. Come back over here. Oh, they wiped, they killed the guys in the base. So, oh my God. So much is happening. I can't keep up. Where's my other tank? Get down here. Kill these guys. So I guess I lost my forward command post. There's a... a a tattered shell of a tank over there. These guys are barely holding on. I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like I, I felt like I'm I've been losing this war for a while, but I kind of felt a bit like I, it was starting to come back. But now I'm not so sure anymore. That guy's pinned down with machine gun fire. Oh, I have like six upgrade points. What am I doing? Airdrop munitions. Okay, and I can also do that. Ooh, a strafing shot. Bird dog is Ooh, to have a look the bird here. dog. We could do like a strafing run. Like we could strafe these guys. There we go, strafe. 
Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh! Did not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. We just keep doing it? Oh, God. There's multiple tanks coming in. All right. We might have lost. Oh, God. Destroyed engine. Oh, yeah. So the engine's destroyed. You can see there, like, the back is damaged, so they're not going to move very fast. Oh, God. All right. I think this battle is lost. I've learned some stuff here, though, which is that it's important to build choke points. So what you can do is you can build uh, machine gun posts. You can mine roads. You can you can sort of build choke points and stuff. I think what I've learned is I didn't really set up any choke points. The enemy's just running in my territory and it's too chaotic to kind of fend them off. So here's my new strategy. We're going to try one more round, this time with some computer allies. I'm going to turn the enemy computer difficulty down a bit and I'm going to build some choke points and I'm going to try and take over most of the map and then with the use of choke points, basically just sort of hold the computer back and see how that goes. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, pretty cool game with all sorts of crazy units. I wonder if we can actually be better at it. Um, I guess we will find out. Yeah, we have 117 victory points. They have 350. They need 500 to win. I mean, it's literally just a matter of time. But frenzied and chaotic. There's like a Jeep just floating in the water there. Oh, we blew up a tank. I will take it. Let's end on that victory. All right, so we're quitting. We were defeated. That's okay. These things happen. In war, sometimes you get defeated. Here's our statistics in case you were wondering. So again, I fully admit that I was falling behind on spending my money and I wasn't spending money super efficiently. I find for real-time strategy games, it really takes me a while to learn how to play them efficiently. Like back in the day, I, I got decent at StarCraft, but it's like it took me weeks of playing to really keep my money down and be spending efficiently. I mean, you basically just have to learn like what infantry is good for what situations and, uh, you know, uh, how the units sort of play off of one another um, in order to sort of, you know, be be very efficient at the game. So, yeah, I, I fully admit that I wasn't doing very well there, but I had some fun. But let's have some fun and actually win this time. And we're going to do that by having some allies. <laughs> So here, here are some options. King of the Hill. I mean, I don't know what any of these maps are. Mother Time. Or Mother Me. Interesting. It's a nice open battlefield. Oh, we want to, we want something with like choke points of some kind. Hedge Hedgerow Siege. That looks kind of interesting. I mean, these these maps are quite interesting. All right, sure, whatever. We'll do that. And let's change these to two easy computers and one normal and we will have a normal and a normal i feel like that's a fair balance because i mean i'm probably going to be handicapping my team but i'm going to be really focusing on trying to lock the map down that will be my focus and we'll see how that goes so all right let's go ahead and start this skirmish now company of heroes here has spawned a number of sequels it is a fairly popular um uh, real-time strategy game interestingly there was a free mmo version of this game briefly available in south korea but then it was abruptly canceled so i don't know what happened there um yeah for a brief time there was like a free to play you know you could just go online in korea and uh you know play some play some uh company of heroes here um all right we'll get those once this guy's built, he'll start capturing these. You can also like uh, give your units command like group numbers. So I could do like control one. That will be group number one if I wanted. Uh, let's do one more group of dudes and they will actually build the barracks. I guess I'm, I guess the barracks is probably the first thing that you want to build. Probably a little behind on not doing that, but that's okay. Um, I'm trying to pay attention, like, where choke points and stuff will be this time around. But anyway, all right, let's see how that goes. You guys go ahead and build the barracks. Also, I should experiment with more buildings here. Like this, secondary troop production structure deploys heavy machine gun teams, mortar teams, and snipers. I think we def definitely want to start experimenting with that. We'll set up some snipers and machine gunners at choke points to keep back enemy infantry. That will be something that we actually do this game. That was a victory point that we, a uh, section that we just captured. So 
getting a few more victory points, which is always good. Um, Alright, we have some barracks. Let's start building some troops. And let's actually build that weapon support center. Triage. Kills nearby soldiers. Reduces unit upkeep and support costs. A bit more manpower here. Let's wait for it. And boom, there we go. Alright, so here's our here's our support center. So we're gonna have more advanced troops. Uh, we're already starting to encounter enemies there. <laughs> At, uh, a little spooky, actually. Okay, so this looks like the center of the map. So maybe we can try and work our way up there. Um, and then sort of use that as a command point. Like, there's a building there. Maybe we could turn that into our barracks. We could fortify that whole area and then kind of use that as a linchpin point from which to defend the rest of the map. I don't know. I'm just sort of spitballing ideas here. Um, okay, so I guess you guys go up here and build defensive structures. We can build some machine gun posts. Yeah, that'll be good, actually. Okay, so after you guys capture that, then we'll deal with it. All right. Oh, the enemy's already setting up machine gun posts or something. What do you need? Okay, so kind of seems like somewhat of a choke point. Oh, there's munitions over here. Are these just, are these just oh, up for grabs? Nobody's taking these? Let's go ahead and build a machine gun. Yes. Oh, you can only do it if you own the territory. All right, let's try and capture this, see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. All right, we're, we're getting a good portion of the map, actually. And look, this is all up for grabs because we basically control everything else. So this is going to be real nice once we get it. Um, all right, so we will build our defensive structure here like we planned, Enemy unit like down. this, and I feel like that's a pretty good line of sight. All right, boom, build that structure. We'll build another one over here maybe, eventually. Okay, and now that we have this... I feel like we should also build another defensive structure. I That bunker was so difficult for me to take out. The computer really taught me a lesson, which is like, bunkers can actually be good. Oh, God! Flee! 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 Okay, well, there goes that bunker. Here's an idea, though. I wonder if he can see this bunker. Nope, he can see that. All right, there, there goes a lot of wasted money. Uh, Build a bunker here. Like this. There we go. All right, it's totally going to see his building and just start unloading on it. That's actually pretty funny. Okay, what do we got going on at the main base? We got some soldiers. Bring these guys up to the front lines here. And let's continue building some defensive workers. Guess we'll want to kind of build in this direction here. Like build... Wait, do we not have enough resources? We need 15 fuel. Oh god, fuel accumulates so slowly. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that soon. Alright, we got our fuel. And we're gonna build like that. Did I hear gunfire over here? What's going on? Oh yeah, there we go. We're just pinning them down permanently. Permapin. Alright, so these guys can now kind of hustle back. And let's actually reinforce. I want to start reinforcing our supply posts and stuff. We don't want these to be easily capturable. There we go. Look at that guy. He doesn't know where to go. He's like, somebody help me. Oh, God. Um, okay, let's try something different. The backbone, focus on defense, off-map artillery, and heavy ranger. Uh, most powerful allied tanks in the game. Hmm, that actually could be kind of fun. But I do like the idea of artillery and stuff. So infantry and heavy weapon times are reduced. Naval riflemen to construct field defenses speeds up engineer construction defenses. Do that. Oh god, here come some enemies. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Run. God. I wonder if we can like lure them into the range of the machine gun. Get into cover. Here we go. 
Oh god, they're killing us. Uh, retreat! <laughs> Flee! Shoot. Okay, hold on. We had some troops up here. Didn't we? Up this hill. Yes. Okay. Come over here. Kill these guys. Oh, and there's a there's a, a farmhouse there, too. We could set that up as our forward command post. Forgot about doing that. Let's uh, go ahead and take this one. I think this will be a better one. Because it's... Uh, it's sort of more central to the battle. So that will be our forward command post. Oh, they were smart. They dove into a building. I just, like, ran home. One of our forward emplacements, trying to take okay, so go ahead and get more dudes. You... Enemy unit down. Why is no one capturing these? These are, like, easy captures in our territory. Go ahead and capture all of those. And capture this, too. And then come up to the central spot. Alright, so here we can build troops. Let's build a heavy machine gun team. And we'll start rallying there. Alright, good. You guys did your job. Ooh, and they didn't even get damaged, too. Um... What? Have you guys stay in this building? So I guess staying in buildings is actually pretty smart because it lets your guys sort of stay defended and, you know, they're not going to get, like, just randomly shot and injured. Um, so I'm pretty sure when you build an observation post, uh, an area starts producing more stuff, and we could use more fuel, but let's just see. So this one's plus five. I just wasted 200 manpower. Let's see if we actually get uh, more resources. Meanwhile... These guys are going to come here. They're going to set up there. Just in case someone tries to come from behind. And do we have, like, snipers and stuff? We have a mortar team. I feel like that would be pretty cool. We're going to save up for that. Uh, meanwhile, rangers lead the way. Deploy rangers. Heavy anti-tank. Ooh. Okay, sure. Why not? So, the, I'm getting these points, by the way from uh experience so as i am killing guys and as i'm getting into combat and stuff i'm like earning these uh these experience points that are allowing me to build these okay, these guys wait these guys are on my side what's happening seems like this is like a big road where enemies are going to be coming so we should actually build something there um, oh yeah, see now we're getting plus eight. So it do, it is good to uh, it is good to upgrade your resource centers. Okay, we're gonna lock this road down like this. Oh no, wait, actually, never mind. Is they're gonna capture that territory, or are they gonna capture that territory? I can't tell. Um, should we try and capture this? Yeah, we'll try and capture this, and if we can get it, then we'll uh, build our bunker. All right, let's build some snipers. Build some snipers. I'm, I'm just really focusing on locking the enemy down this time. Anywhere where I see them starting to come in, we'll start building bunkers and defensive structures. Um, Where are these guys going, by the way? Where did I tell them to go? Yeah, I'm trying to like keep track of everyone on the minimap. So you can do this to get like a better idea of your minimap. You can see all your units moving. Actually, this is like really handy. The computer has people moving around too. You can actually see how much fuel everything is worth. Uh oh, we're getting into a fight over here. See if we can capture this. God, there's it. We're like dead. We're like right in enemy territory. Annihilated. This is actually like a bad idea. Um, call a squad of rangers. Okay, everybody, flee. Flee, flee, flee. Flee back over here. Okay, we're just going to build a bunker like that to lock that road down. It'd be nicer if we could build in here somewhere, somewhere but uh, I don't think we can. All right, the, al the Axis are slowly losing resources, which is good. Uh, I want to finish upgrade. I want to upgrade a bunch of my like fuel depots here. Let's see. Do we have any active engineers here? Wait, where are all our guys? I don't see anyone on the map. Did they all die? Oh, there's one. Interesting. 
Okay, so we have some sniper. Oh, we have a sniper. That's awesome. You can actually... Here's something fun we can do. We'll bring the sniper down and we'll put him in the bunker. And then he can actually snipe people. So we'll have a machine gunner and a, a sniper in the bunker. That'll actually be really handy for us. Okay, I, I have a feeling that the enemy is going to start bringing in uh, tanks. So let's start building our own tanks here. So we want a weapon support. No, a supply yard. And you can only build that at the home base. I guess come back over here and do that. Meanwhile... Oh, our machine gunners did their job. They actually held that down. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, I guess I'll build another set of engineers because I've lost track of... Uh, like, where are they? I've lost track. Did they all get killed? Can't tell. I think we've got a good portion of the map, by the way. Like, this actually interests me. If we could somehow snake our way in here. That would be handy, but it seems to be in enemy territory. So my plan is to start going around upgrading our resources. Because we have the center of the map. And that's actually pretty important. Enemy unit down. Um, oh, there's enemies coming in there. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so... Oh, there's an engineering crew in there. Um, exit the building. Unload. There we go. Okay, those guys are going to get killed real quick. So those engineers can come over here and start recapturing. And we will build a defensive structure there, too. So we keep them all locked down. In fact, we can, the engineers can come and fight, too. Yeah, eat it! You run. That is not the way you want to run, man. You're going to run into a machine gun. <laughs> He's picking the worst way to run home ever. But he's making it. Look at him. He's forced gumping it. Go, go, go. I'm rooting for him now. Oh, man, that guy. You know what? If we kill the Nazis and that guy's still alive, let's invite him to be on our side. I feel like he might have earned it. Oh, God. Okay, I think this vehicle is going to make short work of these guys. But I don't want my engineers to die, so you guys come over here. Come over here, see if they will... What the hell's going on over here? Okay, we're clearly getting complacent. Let's uh, build a couple of sets of troops. And, oh, we have this too. We can build our tank as well. Tank depot. Alright, meanwhile, let's not lose focus here on the fact that we should probably just be upgrading these things to get more resources. Okay, so we'll clearly have to take that back. Because we can't let that stand. Oh, and there's a... Wait, that's an allied sniper? Interesting. I've got some troops here. You guys are going to capture this. And I guess we'll need some kind of defensive structure here. Germans are seizing territory. Or we could just get into the building and defend it. Um, I don't really care about that, but I care about that. So where are more troops? Am I building more troops? Yes, I am. Um, I'm going to upgrade them to have sticky bombs in case tanks show up, because I have really no defense against tanks right now. Enemy unit down. But that's what we want. All right, you guys are capturing that. Perfect. Okay, we're doing pretty good at holding on to our territory, sort of. Um, they are kind of like coming in to our little... They're getting behind our lines, which is not what I want. Build a few more troops. And we have no resources for tanks, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Meanwhile, okay, that's good. I really want to upgrade these fuel ones because it seems like the fuel ones are the ones that uh, matter most. Troops can, now make sticky bombs. Troops can make sticky bombs. What else we got here? Enables riflemen to construct field defenses. Call in an artillery strike. That's what we want. We want to be able to call in artillery strikes. Oh, they're, they're paratrooping guys in. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm going to take up this building to defend this area. 
They've gotten behind our lines to capture that, which is not cool. Boom! Oh, they took out our base! Our field base! Oh no! Um... Okay, we got that. Um, can you guys aim at this guy? Oh, they're sending tanks and stuff after us. Okay. Um... Run? <laughs> Enemy uh, not down. enough manpower. We need rangers! We need rangers here. Where are they coming from? Do they parachute in also? Oh god, that tank. Where's our rangers? Where are the rangers? Where do they- do they just run across the battlefield? Do they spawn at the back of the- at back of the base and just run across the battlefield? Okay, I don't know what's going on over there. Are these our rangers? No, they are not. Where are those- I spawned rangers! Where are they? Are these they? Looks like them. Okay, rangers. Come and take this. Jeez. I, like, it's funny how it's like I can barely keep up with this. Uh, even though I was trying to take a much more defensive posture here. You know what, machine gunners? You probably would do very well in the building. Why don't you go ahead and get in the building? Oh! What happened? Was that the rangers? Did someone call in an artillery strike? I think someone called in an artillery strike. Um, okay, hold on. Battlefield, where are my rangers? Where are my rangers? Oh my god, they have multiple vehicles. Um... I need a tank! Even though my tanks... are not, not, not necessarily more effective than theirs, I need tanks, man. Okay. More guys are coming. Come hang out over here. Okay, we're doing okay continuing to hold on to our resources. Oh god. Retreat! Uh, when you do retreat, your guys get a defensive bonus. So that's actually pretty handy for them. Um, I think I had engineers somewhere that... Yeah, I was going to build a defensive structure over here. Let's do that. Build... Put a bunker like this. Right there. Right, that'll help defend the area. Meanwhile, let's call in our own artillery strike here. All right, tank, you ready? Oh, here we go. Here we go. The tank's like, oh, this is not too bad. Meanwhile, kaboom! I don't. Is the tank still alive? Somehow it survived that, eh? Oh wow. I'm shocked. Hey, we have enough- we have enough munitions to just call in repeated artillery strikes. I feel like we should totally do that. Like, let's just artillery strike this. Or maybe because we can't see it. Uh, hold on. Uh, evacuate from the building. All you people, come over here. We're gonna start uh, artillery striking the computer over here. Everyone get into cover! Confirmed. Artillery strike! Infantry squad lost. Infantry squad lost, that's okay. Kaboom! Kaboom! We have enough money to just barrage them almost endlessly with artillery. What's this? Enables engineers to deploy the howitzer. That did not take down their buildings in the way I thought artillery should. I mean, it damaged things fairly significantly, but... I was hoping that it would just, like, straight on take it out. Try again. If at first you don't succeed with artillery, just keep launching more artillery! Launch endless artillery at them. Kaboom! Kaboom! My guys are a little close. Okay. Boom! 
Okay, see, my hope is I'm not really helping my allies defend the t their territory, but my hope is that what I'm doing here is panicking the enemy enough that they're sending troops back to try and defend this territory. <laughs> Um, and we'll launch another artillery. Launch it right here at these stupid tank things. And that bunker. And now you will go ahead and retreat. Boom, boom. I guess artillery is not really good against vehicles, because vehicles will just, uh, run away. So lesson learned. Don't waste your artillery on vehicles. But, uh, we can waste our artillery on... Buildings. All right, you guys come over here. Let's replenish, you guys, replenish you guys. Replenish you guys. Damn, they're taking that territory. Damn, my strategy of, of trying to to choke them off from the map is not quite working. I should maybe I should have turned one of my computer allies on hard. Oh god! Oh! Oh! What's happening over here? Oh my god! This is not good. Oh no! Oh my god, we're screwed. What what do we do to, to fight this? That's a lot. That's so many tanks. That's so many tanks. They're oh no, they're coming for us. Okay. I don't think we have enough time to build an opposing tank force. So here I have two strategies. One, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna artillery this guy. Maybe we can even the odds. They took out one of our dudes. Maybe we can artillery down this guy over here. But on the flip side... Oh my. Wait, what are these? Machine gunners? They're not going to do anything. On the flip side, what I was going to say is maybe we can just use our infantry to take out the tanks. So here we go. We're going to artillery these. That's pretty good. Boom! I love this artillery. It's actually awesome. We have two more artilleries in us. How much damage do we do? We almost do half damage. So I think with two more... Oh, we do do half damage. With two more artilleries, we're going to have this. We're to we totally have this. Get ready. Boom! All right. How about another one? Oh, they're sending in the tanks. Yeah, you guys defend that place. See how that works for you. See how that works for you. Retreat! Retreat! Kaboom! Kaboom! Okay, we've more or less taken out one of the enemies, I think. Let's just send some tanks down to make sure. Man, things have gotten way chaotic. Really chaotic. We have, like, basically lost the map. It's actually crazy. All right, tank squad, show them what's for. Let's just start building tanks. Forget everything else. Tanks and artillery strikes are all that we're good for. <laughs> all right, is there anything else we can upgrade? Like, literally, we're, we're max upgraded. Oh, hello. Um, groups, come check out the status of this building. If it isn't utterly destroyed, then we will destroy it. Come over here. Oh, it's still around. All right. Not for long! Not for long. A tank is like, I'm just going to stay back here and defend if necessary. Kaboom! I want to see this building go down, though. Kaboom! One or two more shots. One or two more direct shots should get it. Guys? Did we not kill it? Does it have like more health when it has like low health or something? I don't know. Oh, look, my guys have successfully recaptured most of the territory. Okay, we, you know what? Our, our diversionary tactics worked, actually. Um, okay, we're coming down here. Guess what? There's more artillery in the mix, bitch! <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose a tank, though. That's okay. Boom! Boom! This is war, baby! 
kill that freaking yeah we took it down we took down their command post all right tank flee flee back home and repair yourself oh somehow they made it behind enemy lines oh no <laughs> this is crazy it's like i feel like we're 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 doing pretty well in like fighting them but at the same time it's like they're just everywhere oh no they're coming for me Oh no, maybe we're not doing very well fighting them. Oh, look at all those tanks! Oh, they're decimating us! Oh, this is no good! Oh god, what happened? Did they call down artillery strikes? Oh no, my base! No, no, my base! Where's my tank? Oh, it has no health left. Oh, tanks! Oh no! Okay, um, we have an artillery strike. No, we don't! No! We need an artillery strike! Uh, the Rangers! Oh god. We're screwed. Well, you know what? We managed to take out one computer. We managed to take out one computer. We're totally screwed now. Oh my god, look at them all! Holy jeez! How did this many tanks get built? I didn't know tanks were the way to win this game. I mean, I should have guessed. You just go for the... The, uh... Oh god. Oh, get in the building! Oh, they're all dead! Oh, they artillery us! Oh no! Oh my god. Okay, they were like, you want to kill one of us? We're going to kill one of you. And they already killed one of us. Now they're killing two of us. Hey, wait, can you regenerate your command post? Because I'm, I'm dead. Destroyed HQ. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm really screwed here. Really screwed. And turns out the German Panzer Division isn't to be trifled with. Oh, they're killing everything. They're, we just killed their main base. They're killing everything. They're not letting anyone survive. My whole base is being destroyed. Well, you know, when you give Gaming J command of an army, I think this is about as good as you would expect. This is the outcome you would expect. I like how there's like shattered tank shells just left on the battlefield. God, get into cover, dudes. Get into cover. Um, I like how there's just shattered tank shells from like the battles. It's like the destroyed tanks stay on the battle and can be like used as cover and stuff. Oh, there's a tank over there too. Ridiculous. Throw the anti-tank sticky bombs at it. Throw the satchel charge in. Where's Captain America when you need him? Somebody call Steve Rogers. We're totally screwed here. How are the Nazis winning? This is not how this war is supposed to go. Oh God. Um, anyway, as I was saying, this is about what you would expect if you ever gave me command of an army. I tried to be more strategic the second time around, but I I just wasn't strategic enough. Um, I do think this is an amazing game, though. I'm actually was really blown away and impressed when I actually did sit down to play it. It's like very detailed and yet it's easy to pick it up. Um, certainly like learning the good strategies and the units and stuff are quite important and it's really interesting like the weakest units can stand up against the stronger units like you saw the computer just roll over my soldiers but my soldiers did have anti-tank weapons and they did like a fair amount of damage to the tanks you can also mine roads and stuff which just decimates enemy vehicles they just go over them and explode I didn't really mine any enemy I didn't my, really mine roads effectively, but you can do that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, you know, technically our side is still winning. Technically we're closer to the number of victory points to win, but I just feel like with this kind of German tank force, it's a matter of time. And I, like, am I out of the game? Can I still build anything? What do I do at this point? Like, if I were playing online with friends, maybe I just quit, um, you know, because I suck. But, like, I'm just kind of thinking, like, I don't think I have any active units left. Hey, somehow we captured this. That's funky. Uh, but yeah, remember, remember the glory days when we owned all of this? And look at those, the German armored division. Um, we did cripple one of their tanks, though. I'm pretty sure one of the tanks over here... Yeah, like that one, it's, its engine is blown, so it's like it's barely moving. If they get a squad engineers, they could repair, but we could just run around and destroy it if we had any troops left. But, yeah, I think I'm just done. I think if I don't have any more troops left, I'm just done. So, yeah, the Germans outdid us with their armored vehicles. Maybe I should have become the armor expert. Um, and... Wait, engineers. Wait, I can summon engineers still to continue the fight. 
Hold on, wait, wait what happens? Oh, wait, I can actually come back into the battle? Oh, look at this. Hello. Hello, do don't mind us, tank. Oh, he's turning to face us. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped here. I shouldn't have dropped here. Gunner killed. Look at this thing. We're just totally confusing this tank. We're like taking cover behind the tank. <laughs> it's funny how the vehicles can't run you over in this. But, oh, we killed the tank. Oh no, wait, it killed one of us. Oh shoot. Can I reinforce? Must be near HQ. So I guess when you lose, when you lose your main HQ, maybe you can build a secondary HQ or something like that. But yeah, anyway, interesting. So like maybe I could continue the game. But uh, I think I think for the time being, we've definitively lost this. Although like we're eating into the enemy territory. I mean, there's only... Oh God. I was gonna say, there's only uh, two enemies left, but yeah, I don't know what these lightning bolts are above their squad. I assume it's, this is the Hydra division of tanks. But yeah, they're totally decimating us. Alright, we lost, we lost. I know when to, to call it. But yeah, very cool game, a lot of strategy. There definitely feels like there's a lot you can do. Again, even basic infantry have a fighting chance against tanks. You can get into buildings and turn them into mobile headquarters. There's defensive structures and mines. The battlefield explodes nicely. Like the physics engine in this is great. It also really does feel like very World War II-y. You know, like it's it's a, an awesome game overall. I was very impressed to discover this game. Um, and it really does sort of have that Band of Brothers uh, type feel. Um, fun fact, actually, they originally at one point were talking about making a Company of Heroes TV show. Uh, when I read that, I was like, don't we already have that? Isn't it just called Band of Brothers? You know, like, what what would separate it from Band of Brothers, you know? I mean, not to say that no one else can ever make a World War II TV show, but you know what I mean? Like, kind of feels like this is just Band of Brothers. Um, anyway, very cool game, very neat game. Um, it's in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Oddly enough, even though I really enjoy this game and like it and think there's a lot of potential here, I don't think it's necessarily a game you must play. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily iconic enough. You know, it's not like Super Mario Brothers or Sonic the Hedgehog or Civilization or something like that. Um, and it also is a very tactical strategy game. And I could definitely see some people not wanting to get that detailed with their strategy game. So I don't necessarily think this game is going to appeal to everyone. That said, if you like me, also like real-time strategy games, and you want something a little different, you know, this isn't just StarCraft, this isn't just Command and Conquer. I mean, those are good games, don't get me wrong, but the whole cover system here and how units have special abilities that can take on, like, the hardest units and, uh, you know, like, there definitely are similarities between Command and Conquer and StarCraft and all that, but I feel like th this game is just also a little fundamentally different. So it's an interesting game in that it's a real-time strategy game, but there's a, it's, it's a, an odd spin on real-time strategy, that I have not seen before. And I think that's what wowed me about the game. So um, yeah, if that sounds appealing to you, you might want to check it out. Um, but as for me, I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm just a lowly failed battlefield commander here. Um, yeah, man, look at this. How were we supposed to fight that tank squad? I was busy artillerying. It was fun to artillery this base into the Stone Age and destroy it. But maybe I should have done that far sooner. I didn't realize that the enemy would come at us with tanks that quickly. But boy, oh boy, they were they were mass producing them, let me tell you. Anyway, what do you guys think of Company of Heroes here? What are your thoughts and opinions on this one? Is this a game that you've played before and you have some cool strategies or tips you could share with us? Maybe there were things I were doing I was doing besides not spending my money that wasn't super efficient. Um, or is it a game that you've never heard of and uh, maybe I've piqued your interest today? Uh, or maybe you're just not into strategy games. If that's the case, that's fine too. Whatever the case may be, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking this game out with me today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was interesting and maybe you laughed a little when I started to utterly fail. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Share this channel with all your friends and family. Help me get the word out. Help me find more people to uh, become part of our community. But other than that, you just watching the videos is all the reward I need. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and, uh, oh, wait, let's look at my, 
stats. You guys might want to see my stats. I don't know why. But uh, here's the stats. Um, oh, dear God. He produced $20,000 worth of... Oh, no, that's his total score. Hold on. So he produced 23 infantry and had 23 casualties. So he wiped his infantry off the board. In terms of vehicles... What? 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 The, the easy computers built all these vehicles? Okay, here's something I don't understand. Yeah, of course I didn't build many vehicles. I'm stupid and I don't know how to play this game and I'm just learning. But I have two normal computers that produced half as much as... Even an, e an easy computer built eight vehicles, five vehicles. The normal computer built six. None of my allies built nearly that much. Why were my allies not, <laughs> not doing stuff? I blame my loss on my allies. I don't think that they were uh, good enough. Uh, one other thing I, I guess I didn't really talk about is that the longer your units stay alive on the battlefield, the more uh, experience they get and they become veterans. And they actually become more effective. So it's another incentive to not just let your units die, not just throw them into the meat grinder um, in Zerg rushes and stuff and just let them die. But anyway, wow. We... I mean, we as a collective, me and my allies suck. So anyway, that's why we lost. I blame it squarely on the computer. They weren't pulling their weight, but uh, yeah. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves and peace. All right, how about a rematch computer? How about if I go in with two experts? I'll leave you at normal and I'm going to rush for tanks. Because as it turns out, it just seems to be the number of tanks you have that determines whether you're going to win this game. So we're going full tank here. All right, we're going to armor company this time. We want power tanks, baby. Oh man, my allies are totally invading the enemy territory. We have like snipers and stuff. They have like machine gun outposts. Are these snipers cloaked? Man, I feel like these guys are winning the war without me. Nice to have competent allies, but slow down, guys! You're not leaving anything for the tanks! Look at this battlefield! 90% ours. I don't know why I'm complaining. Good versus tanks. Okay. Oh yeah! The tank destroyer! The destroyer of worlds and tanks! I feel like the war's gonna be over by the time I get out there. What? How did they get vehicles, too? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just join in the fight. Well, I seem to know what's up. Hurry to the battle! You're missing it, Francis! Oh, we're capturing their fuel, too. Yeah, they're screwed. Aha! I have a tank now! Boom! Oh, there's your bunker right there. Protect me, soldiers, from the engineers. Oh, they're flamethrowing dudes. Jeez, where'd they get all these troops? Okay, the computer on expert is a much better ally than the computer on normal. Not surprising, but still. Do I have enough for a second tank yet? Finally! I can now afford two tanks. How did the computer build like 10? It's unbelievable. Far more fun being on the winning side, though, I have to say. Oh, that sniper poked his head out. You ain't sniping a tank, buddy. Oh my god, my allies are actually capturing the territory. Jeez. They're just paratrooping guys in. The, the computer is... The computer opponents are screwed, man. Oh, yeah. All right, here's another tank. And we're going to upgrade you. Have all the stuff, I guess. Why not? Ah, now here's a battle. Yeah, you better run, dudes. I feel like my guys are just taking random pot shots. It doesn't even matter what we do at this point. The ally computers are pretty much winning this one for us. Yeah! Hey, those are stormtroopers. What is on the front of my tank? I've got a car wash. This is one of those tanks that also can wash your cars. Are they paratrooping guys into my base? <laughs> That's insulting. Like, dude, you're not defending your base well enough. I have. Why do I have to paratroop guys into your base to protect you? Like my car wash tank. Now let's do this. Let's start rolling over them. Oh, they dare to try to capture a munitions point. 
Oh, yeah, you better run. You better run! Oh, they're still finishing that guy off over there. Boom. Oh, there's an anti-tank thing over there, eh? Well, let's get behind you and then see what's what. Yeah! Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom! Ooh, my other tank arrived. Die! Oh, kaboom! Oh, the bodies are just flying across the battlefield. Ooh, they they have a tank too. Yeah, here's a battle for you. Boom! Main gun destroyed. Oh yeah! <laughs> Boom! Places up to do destroyed allied tanks with a new tank for a period of time. And this tank's gonna get killed, but whatever. Oh, we're victorious! <laughs> that was all me, man. All me. Well, we didn't get as big a tank force as the computer did on us, but it's still fun going around with tanks. So I guess tanks... Tanks can be the way to victory, although, as you saw, the computer on Expert was doing a real mixed infantry force. They had snipers and light vehicles and stuff, so... There's a lot to learn in this game, a lot of strategies to figure out, but there you go. We sort of ended on a victory after the video had already ended, but... Yeah. Oh, God! Flee! Flee! 